Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hand. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Once again with me here is... Final 4 9. Not literally here anymore though, but uh... Yeah, yeah when, when we last left off, um... I hadn't played... Uh... Birth by Sleep... Why did he jump? Okay. Oh, uh, there's a setting in the game where, like, if you go off a ledge, he'll automatically jump. Very useful. <clears throat> uh, let me think. We were supposed to destroy these things, right? Yeah. Uh, evil Tron cubes. Yes. They are evil and Tron cubes. And interruptions! Must always have those. In before sorry. Which I say it's okay. Turn by you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. And potion. Apparently, uh, Data Source balls already dropped somehow. The little hatch on the wall is gone. Can I get up here? So somehow he has a keyblade at this point, even though he didn't in the game. In the first game, at least. Box up there. <clears throat> God. Uh. Excuse me if I my tr my throat sounds make me sound terrible because uh, it might. <clears throat> oh God damn it, Sora! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ugh. Blank chip. Okay. Why is the door so small and why can't I enter it? Apparently because it is so small, dude. Kinda of despise the camera in this game. Hello I think you. There's a setting in there a setting in the options that like changes it so that when you press L and R it like makes the camera go away. I think there is. Let me see. Config. Uh Oh uh camera reset. It might be that. I think that I think that's what I want. Yeah, that's better. At least now I don't have to keep turning it the entire time. It's like the camera's on the grid. Why can't I jump off here? What will uh data sort sort short circuit <laughs> or something? Oh really? It reset everything? Oh, you have to go talk to Walker. <clears throat> oh really? It says at the bottom of the screen. Oh, so much, so much for me paying attention. No, I just didn't it. Oh, I am sad for he doesn't sound like Bender. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> star chips, matrix. It's only a new chip in the stat matrix. Okay. Hoo <laughs> Oh, you can set the difficulty? Yeah. I wouldn't, like, screw around with it, though. Ha 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 No, that's not. What's this new? Oh. A blank chip, like, basically the use for that is to put it down and then replace it with another chip when you get a new one. Should I do that, or...? Uh, place, place down the HP, first. And now you scan. And now put down the blank chip. Basically, you always want to put blank chips at the end so you can get further in the stat matrix without actually putting down a stat booster. And then when you get mm. the stat booster, you replace the blank chip with the stat booster and then place the blank chip in the space next to it. Okay. It's <clears throat> basically what you want to do. Try 
Tom Spiders, oh no, I found them. How do I reach them? Tree! Map! What's going on? Okay, well I track them down. How do I reach them? I go on the, like, the ledge, I guess, or maybe the... Oh, the yeah. Hello, I did not get a good look at you to judge. Long sleeves. Can't be a lock sword, he was too small to be a lock sword. What's with this song? It is really like techno y. It's cool though. We're getting back doors. Let's investigate this strange portal. What the fuck? Oh, what the shit is this? Oh, what fresh hell is this? Okay, basically what you want to do is you just want to defeat all the enemies in the room. Don't I want to destroy these things? Uh, they give you, like, uh, like, money or whatever, but you don't have to. Wait, there's shadows? I can't even see them. You see how they got the yellow glitch around them? That means that I they guess. move really fast. Okay. I think, or something like that. I don't quite remember. Multiple floors, whatever. Uh, I didn't look around because I knew there was something here. This game's weird. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Clearly. Chase cam might screw you over. No, it's okay, just... you see those points you just got there? Yeah. Those are sector or system points or something. And those are those are basically relevant at the end, and you'll see why. Should I just get them all or Yeah, just try and get the most you can. When okay. you get attacked when you get hit, uh, you lose points. If I have no points I die. Um maybe? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I'm getting stuff everywhere. I don't know what's going on, though. Like, do you want me to explain everything really fast? I guess. Okay, you, okay, you see the tree thing at the bottom? I guess. That's ultimately something called your clock or something. Uh, I'm Which you then have to clean. <laughs> no, but basically that means that when you hit enemies, the clock goes up, and then you unlock different abilities. Game level up happens. chip, okay. Uh, that, that's how you level up, but, um... Like, basically your clock abilities, or your clock tree or whatever, um, like, basically, like, that unlocks new abilities uh -huh. that you get, like, for example, uh, for the keyboard Wait, one get, second. Like... Okay. One, one second, let me turn you down, you're really loud to me. No, you can keep explaining, but let me just turn you down. Like, you just got Medic, which increases the, uh, uh, thing of, like, uh, the effectiveness of potions. Okay. And you got CP Max, which basically means that your sliding dash is now its maximum level. And I got magic upgrade. Yeah, and each keyblade has their own unique uh, level up tree. Okay. So. So if you want to get everything, you have to use every single one, or what? Uh, if if there's a specific clock setup that you like, then you use that keyblade. Okay, but can can would you benefit from getting? Okay, upgraded. Clock you have bashed. Tree. Touching your choice. Oh yeah, and sometimes uh, your keyblade can like level up, which yeah, it basically just did. means yeah, which basically means you just unlock more abilities, and you can choose what abilities you want to have over other ones. Okay. And when you max out the like clock level, then you then you use like that special attack. What do, what do I do then? 
Nothing for right now. Uh, for right, yeah. Just don't worry about anything for like that for right now, because you only just have the kingdom key. So. Why did it? Why did I mention it then? Well, I don't know because it's relevant from the start. I guess. Yay. Okay. Now you see those all those chips. Yes. You can use the CP to buy them, and I'd recommend just buying all of them. Can I? I don't even see how much I have. Uh, you have 768. And then you just redeem it for either money or EXP, which is how you exit, and then I just say, uh, just do EXP every time. I don't need money. Because yeah, you're basically not gonna need money. So I guess I won't screw the rules then. Hmm. I don't. I don't even think. Uh, I don't know. There are like shops in this game, but I don't really remember using them. Well, all. I don't ever use shops. Yeah, have I so used like shops money in the is other basically games? useless. I have never really used. He oh, hello, bridge. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, no, no. Basically, the game just explained that like when the bugs appear, then parts of the world appear glitched or missing entirely. Okay. So you need to get rid of the glitch for the world to appear the way it's supposed to. Or the rooms are the way it's supposed to look. Yeah, but I, like, like, I still don't understand the, like, the concept. Like, the, the, this whole game is just weird. Like, you just have to pretend you're in a computer and just forget about the whole journal thing. But yeah, like, but that makes no sense. Yeah, like, ba basically, you're just in a computer. That worked out. Are you even hitting him? No, I am. There we go. Guess I beat him. Okay. Yeah. A waterfall. Let me guess, he went through the cave. Because you can't actually go to the waterfall. Also, there's two waterfalls. What are you talking about? Tetis. Tetis. No, that's stupid. Ugh. Oh, that reminds me. Um, install your stat chips, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna do that. Yeah, so basically, uh, click on the, uh, blank chip. Yes. And then replace that with something else. Level up? Yeah, like the level up. That's fine. I'll put on the string. Well, I just... Magic. I'll just kind of put on everything. Why not? There you go. Now what? I uh, filled up my sphere grid. What do I do? You have to wait for the game to let you uh, put more down. And he puts another fire to get another fire. It's basically like command melding, but a lot more needlessly complicated. Okay, so... That's it? Yeah. Okay. So, like, there's less trees on here now. You have a cube just appearing, did you see that? Mm. At least I got dodge roll in this game. Yes. So is it me, or does this series really like the fourth game? I swear, every single game is, like, based on the first game after, like... Well, the first, the first game. game is the best. Well, yeah, but, like... <laughs> There's a road for the taking, if you end your world taking. <laughs> I'm a very good rhymer now. <laughs> Who said that not, Mickey? Whack! I can't see a thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Oh boy! The world's shaking! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ansem. 
Oh, well, that proves that it's Ansem. Well, like, why would Ansem dress like that? He never does. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he, he wore a weird black cloak, which doesn't make any sense, because it's not like anybody would have recognized him, even if, even if he didn't. Hmm. Tied to the darkness. Tied to the photos. <laughs> you just lost it, man. Because yeah. if you're going to reference the first scene, then after uh, the, the sort of side of the darkness, uh, I don't know what he says after that. More, li more like bollocks. Lol. <laughs> fuck is your problem? <laughs> Like the crappy running sound of it. <laughs> okay. Do you read me? No, I think you're reading him because he's in a. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to lock this keyhole? I don't know, with a key? Uh, oh man, this game's too hard. Oh, what the crap is this? Funky cutscene, I guess. Good job, you ruined it. So, enter Johnny, I guess. Indeed. Binary Johnny, I guess. Matrix Johnny. Yes. Good job, Neo. You dodged a bullet. No, you die I by chainsaw. chainsaw. Oh my god. Boss stage scoring. Defeat enemies or bash blocks to release a prize that increase your score. You are the items based on your performance. So basically, if you want a good item, and if you want a good score, then keep, then don't get hit, and beat the boss really fast. That's basically what you want to do. Well, so much for that. I know, your score didn't go down yet, so... And down he goes. Oh no, he is having some sort of block disease. <laughs> uh, you should get that checked out. Okay. If you haven't noticed yet, this game is kind of weird. I have noticed. Trust me. It's an interesting spectacle, to say the least. Uh, am I dying? How do I heal? Uh, try and get one of the purple blocks like that. I hit it. And that, that usually gives you HP. I'm sorry, I have to... Focus on actually attacking. Oh, no, that's fine. 
Somehow I got healed there. Also, the red ones apparently give you HP too, okay. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That was cool. That was interesting. Okay, pause. Yes. So, next time we will continue this rumpus. So, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.